Hi team, today we can discuss how to connect SQL Server into ClickView. So first of all, you have to open in a ClickView. So I open ClickView, ClickView, ClickView desktop. After that, I created one new application. So actually you can go for file, you know, in that you can select a new. So once new application is created, we can create that name. Control S is save. So connect to SQL Server. Connect SQL. Okay. And so after that, we can go for edit script. In the edit script, we have two options. First one is that control E. Otherwise, we can go for this symbol. So Actually, we can go for this symbol and also create a new tab. New tab means we can add tab. One of the option is there. We can click on that work. After that, connection options is there. So ODBC, OLDB. First, we can discuss OLDB. So whenever you install that uh, click your desktop, automatically the OLDB configuration is available. ODBC means uh, we can create that. First of all, whenever connected to the ODBC, we need to DNA, data source name is required. Um, that means provided to the database team. So first of all, I connect to the ODBC. So ODBC, I check that ODBC. After that, go for connect, connect option. In that connect option, so actually uh, Microsoft OLDB driver for SQL server. So I tick that one. After that, after that uh, go for next. So in that, we can give that username so the server name actually in my server name the server name is this one so actually i disconnect this one One second one second sorry more plus okay i open that sql once again This is the server name. Okay, you can copy. This is already installed my local machine, so that is the reason I copy this one. I connect to the my local machine moment, not in that uh, environment. Mission. So after that, you can go for uh, click click view. So we can press that one. We have to select this one is Windows authentication, not in the SQL authentication. Windows authentication. After that, test connection. You can test connection. Test connection, connection successful. Okay. After that, you can go for okay. So this is the connection. So actually, in that connection name, we can see. So this is the source name, like as a server name. Okay. The password is Windows authentication. That is the reason it is not required. So after that, we can go for and load the tables. So select. So actually, in that this is the master DB. So actually, so many databases are available. So we can check like as a field high database is there. So advantage. So I select a field high database. In that uh, field high database, only one table is there. Orders. So we can select all the fields. All the fields. After that, we can go for preceding, preceding or row. So first of all, we can go for rows. Okay, rows. Okay. So actually, in the I I do that on each and everything. So otherwise, we can no need to waste our time. So we can go for select. Select is there. So we can select fill high database. After that. We can select all the fields. Columns only. So after that, okay. So these are the fields is available in the uh, field head database. The database is field head. Table name is, we can understand from, this is the database name, database. This is the table name. So after that, we can save and reload that one.
the connection is established. You can add the all the um, fields and also go for layout, layout, rearrange sheet objects. So like that, you can achieve. Okay. So today's video is how to connect SQL Server into Click you. Thanks, team. Can we connect tomorrow? I will drop the session.